Hello students, in this video we'll see what happens to a continuous function if its domain is a compact set. Let's suppose that f maps k into r, where k is a compact set. Then we're going to have the following result, our proposition is that the image of that compact set is also a compact set. And this will help us prove the extreme value theorem for functions, continuous functions on a compact set. And so how are we going to do this? So the idea is the following. So we let y n be a sequence in the image f of k. Now this means there are um, points x, n in k such that f of x, n is equal to y, n. Since the x, n is a sequence in k, since x, n is in k and k is compact, There is a convergent subsequence of this sequence. There is a convergent x and k, which converges to a point x that's in k. And now I know that the function f is continuous. Since f is continuous, is continuous on k. That's the space of continuous functions. on k, so it's a continuous function on k. We know that f of x and k is going to converge to f of x as k goes to infinity. And this value x is in k, and so this sequence over here, so my sequence y n, hence y n k converges to f of x, and I have a subsequence of my original sequence that converges to a point which is an element of f of k, and that implies that f of k is compact. Okay. And now since f of k is compact, so proposition, just a remark, since f of k is compact, There are values, there are points, the soup of x in k of f of x is in f of k, and likewise the nth of x in k of f of k of f of x is in f of k, and that implies there exists there exists a and b in k such that f of a is less than or equal to f of x is less than or equal to f of b for all f for x and k. And this is sometimes called the extreme value theorem that you can actually find points in that set where the minimum and the maximum or the soup and the inv are attained. So this is the extreme value theorem. So by this compactness result, we can also get the extreme value theorem for free. Thank you very much.